Hey guys and welcome back to G's Autos. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hey, I'm still alive. I'm still kicking. Alright, so the time has now come for the Blue Starlet to come off the road. It's almost now, it's practically a bare shell. Engine and gearbox are out, most of the interior is out, and everything else has been ripped out of it. Look, it hit 396,000 kilometres, and look, it was just, time's up on this thing, it's had enough on the road. Um, so, before the engine and gearbox came out, I uh, did a compression test on it. I was just curious after doing that amount, that amount of Ks, uh, just how good the compression was on it. Anyway, I was, um, I was surprised to say the least. Uh, anyway guys, uh, take a look at the video. I hope you like it. If you do, give it a thumbs up and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Alright, so we're going to do a compression test on this one. Uh, currently sitting on just over 396,000 kilometres. So uh, the distributor has been disconnected. Down there you'll see those two plugs have been removed so we're going to crack into this and see what kind of compression this thing turns out after hitting almost 400,000 k's all right after you remove your leads from the plugs uh, probably best just to put a, um, a you know a blower down there for off your compressor and just blow out all the crud that might be sitting in there uh, before you take your plugs out because you don't want any junk falling down in there but anyway that's all been done and the plugs are out so we'll do the test and see what happens all right so the uh, gauge is all connected up so just coming over here have a look at the gauge we'll see what this one goes to it's fun is it Maybe I need better glasses. What's that glass. coming up as? Can you see that from there? 180. 180. Wow, there you go. 180 on uh, number one. All right, we'll go through. We'll write that one down. So 180 for uh, number one cylinder, and then we'll go through and uh, mark up the others. All right, here's number two. Jesus, that shot up to about 200. Yeah, Can I press this? We'll do it again. Okay, we're going to do that one again. Seems a bit high. All right, you ready, buddy? You're going to watch the gauge? Have a look. You ready? Okay, here we go. Uh, about 175 on that one, on number two. Can I press this? Yep, you press it. There you go. <laughs> cool tiger. All right, so we've got uh, number three connected. We're just about to do this one. So one and two are good, which is fantastic. It's 250 num. It's 250, the biggest number it can get to. On that one, yeah. If that was the case, we're probably blowing the piston out the side of the engine. All right, here we go. Number three. So probably about 180, 185 on that one. Can I press it? Let Uncle Brett have a look first. 180, all right. Did you get it? No. Good boy, there you yeah, go. Hey. Oh, all right, here we go. Uh, cylinder number three, let's see what we get. Four. Oh, sorry, four, thank you. About 180, I'd say 180 on that one. All right, you ready? Let Uncle Brett have a look. Yeah. All right, mate. Let it go. Good boy. Is that it? Good job. Yep. Good. All right. So here are the four plugs that came out of it. Here's number one. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, let's see if I can get you some decent light. That's number one. Can you guys see that? Okay. I don't know if I can. Number two. Number three. And last but not least, number four. 